Hi everyone. Today's video is about overwhelm. It's something that's come up quite a lot in my conversations with both clients and other mama friends of mine. We all have huge to-do lists and we're usually pretty good at multitasking because most of us are mothers and entrepreneurs and whatever else we've chosen to weave into our busy lifestyles, be it keeping fit, um, hobbies, outlets for our creativity, whatever. So we're good at multitasking, but the problem is when that to-do list gets a little bit long, it can get quite overwhelming, especially when a lot of the stuff on the to-do list is stuff that can't be put to tomorrow or scheduled for another time because it's to do with the children and the children need things doing today. So this video is about taking time out to become really present. This is the only thing that will get rid of overwhelm. The only thing, I promise you. And if you can manage to do it for a couple of minutes a day, it will do wonders to your mindset and overall sense of well-being. The reason I'm saying grounding as not and not something like meditation is because Meditation, unless you've been doing it every day since you were six and it's totally ingrained in who you are, which is awesome, well done, um, can become just another thing that we add our to, to, to our to-do list. It can be another thing that we feel we need to do in order to become better people, better mothers, better partners, whatever. And meditation can, can be shortened into something like grounding. Meditation, apparently you're only meant to do it for 20 minutes, otherwise it's not really worth it, or at least 20 minutes a day in order to get the benefits. So I'm going to teach you a really quick, really quick way of just becoming present, because in a way that's all meditation is. It's, it's becoming present to your surroundings. So this is what I call grounding, and it's called grounding because you basically feel your feet on the ground. So I'm sitting quite up straight now. Um, I've got my feet firmly planted on the ground. But another way to do it, which I absolutely love, is to lie down. It's what my yoga teacher calls first aid for the back and it feels like first aid, it feels amazing. So if you can find a space where you can lie down, even better, and feel really supported your whole body length by the ground, that's great. If not, just sit down or you know, do it while you're standing. And this is the great thing about ground, you can do it while you're brushing your teeth you can do it while you're watching TV, you can do it while you're checking your emails. It's literally just something that you can do for one minute or even two minutes a day. And the more you do it, the more you will realize how beneficial it is. And habits break habits. When we can get into a good habit like that, it then doesn't become a chore. And this certainly doesn't feel like a chore because it's only for one minute. So place your feet firmly on the ground or lie down on the ground. I like to close my eyes and take some really deep breaths. So, with each deep breath, really feel that you're letting go of anything, everything that's in your mind, anything that you, you don't need to think about right now for one minute, let it go. Sometimes I also hunch up my shoulders, like that like scrunch up everything, your face, your, your shoulders, your, your hands, and then let go kind of forcibly. And do it again. And you'd be amazed at the tension that you can release just doing that. So that's taken, what, 10 seconds. A couple of really deep breaths. Then just try and relax your body. Relax a couple of key areas. For me, it's key areas that I notice that I tense. So it's the shoulders, which we've talked about. The jaw. Make sure you're not doing that. I tend to do that without even realising. And I think, Unclench your jaw. Oh yeah, I was clenching it. Unclench your jaw. Take your tongue away from your teeth. Forehead. This is a big one for me. Forehead. I'm always doing that or that. Try and just melt. Melt your forehead outwards. So forehead, jaw, shoulders, belly. When you're taking a deep breath in, make sure that your belly comes out and then back in. Then feel the ground, feel the ground beneath you and just feel supported by it. And remember that the, 
ground is always there. So however unsupported you might feel in that very moment, future tripping about stuff that may or may not happen that you haven't got ready or whatever, or going back into the past and regretting something you should have done, you shouldn't have done, da -da -da -da. it's all about getting present. Let go of any of those thoughts, feel the ground and know that the ground is there with you to support you all the time. All we need to do is to remember that and to check in with it. So that's my tip for grounding. If you can try and do that once a day, once a day, at whatever point in the day you feel really overwhelmed. I know this is the difficult bit. The difficult bit is when you feel overwhelmed to remember to ground, but maybe you can put a little post-it note up by your computer or on a mirror or something where you can remember to try and do it once a day and slowly it will become more of a habit and it will just cut that anxiety that so many of us tend to go through when our to-do lists get too long and we have millions of things to do and not much time to do it in. And you'll be amazed, it will really stretch time. So if you like this video, please check out my blog on bobomama.net or my Instagram feed. I've got lots of tips like this about grounding, chilling out, how to, how to be a mama guru, as I like to call it, which is not what I am at all, but it's steps to get us towards there. Hope that helped. Bye.